Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining. My name is Andre and today we're going to take a look at an inventory management showcase. This process is meant to portray a retailer that is looking to predict sales and fill in the inventory to meet those sales. Now, this process has four steps. Data is going to be extracted from a CRM. We're going to use a machine learning model to predict sales. We're going to have human interaction and at the end, a UiPath robot is going to enter the data into a purchasing platform. Now, this type of process has large volumes of work. So imagine that normally people would need to do this manually. They would need to go through the stocks, take them down or extract reports, read reports, interpret reports, and then make purchasing decisions. And all this will require manual input, manual reading and manual work. Now, this all leads to a very unreliable forecasting. The solution that we have for this showcase, obviously we use UiPath robots and they are supported by a machine learning algorithm in the background hosted in AI fabric. We also use web scraping to get the data from our CRM and then we have an integration with an ERP. This type of solution can work with any ERP because the robot can do the actions automatically. You get very rapid results and because robots always follow the steps that are laid out to them in the workflow, you get a very compliant process and also very reliable predictions. Let's end the PowerPoint slide here and take a look at the actual robot. So we're looking at a virtual machine here. This is where the robot sits. You can see on the right, this is the UiPath assistant. So one UiPath robot can run multiple processes as you can see over here. And normally this would be an unattended robot. So it'll be triggered by a schedule, a queue, an event, an application. But this time I'm going to trigger it manually. So I'm just going into the assistant and I am pressing play. You can see the robot has started. It's logging into the CRM and it's extracting data on the transactions. So it goes to each product and it's using web scraping to extract the data. Now that the data has been extracted, you might notice that all the robots have stopped, so nothing else is going on. Well, that's because the data that was extracted needs human validation, and we are going to validate this using UiPath Action Center. So the robot has created a couple of actions in UiPath Action Center for a human to validate. Now, I'm looking at the Action Center, and I see I have an unassigned task. I'm going to click assign to self and open. And we can see here the data that was extracted. So we have the products on the left, the explanation. So why the prediction was done. You see, we have here on the right, the prediction and the current inventory is eight. We project 15 sales. So the machine learning algorithm plans to order seven. Now this goes to a human for validation because there might be aspects of this that the robot doesn't take into consideration. So we might know that this might be a very new product. So there might be a lot of hype about this. So I'll just modify this a bit, put in the reason. And we know that this is an end of life product. So we're just going to order two of them. End of life. I'm going to submit and mark this action as complete. Once my action is completed, the UiPath robot sitting on the virtual machine will take over, order the relevant products, and now it's processing the exception. So in order to process the exception, we are going to need manager approval. So again, we are going to action center. Now this action doesn't have to go to the same person. It can go to a manager. You can define a group of people in action center. You can build any sort of high hierarchy that is relevant for your company. I'm going to click assign to self and open. And I can see the changes that were made. So first the Nikon camera is end of life. It predicted for the changes to, yep, that's fine. I will approve that. The robot will then move on and purchase the rest of the items. 